So we have a long day shooting ahead of us. It sounds sounds like it's going to be fun. It's also going to be hard work. Uh, we have three models, six dresses, and I believe 20 sets of jewellery. Um, that would be necklaces, tiaras, headbands, um, earrings, bracelets. They're all going to be changed. We have the whole um, hotel to play in. We have a lot of sunlight, some beautiful rooms, and a lot of work ahead of us. The equipment we have in the bag, most of the shooting is going to be done on medium format Hasselblad. Um, I like to use that because it gives the best quality you can possibly get. This will let us crop for web, crop for magazine, crop for publication, anything we need to do with the pictures. You have ultimate resolution. Because we're on medium format, I'm going to be using a lot of auxiliary light today. But given it's an indoor location, I've brought along with me quite a lot of what I'd term studio flash. These are monoblocks which means you plug them straight into the mains and you get lots of power repeatably, very quick recharging. The other thing I like about the lights I've got today is that we can put a various different modifiers on them. Got soft boxes, beauty dishes, and also some grids if we want a little bit harder light. We also, later in the day, we're gonna be taking some pictures outdoors. And so I also have with me a Lencarta location flash system. That gives me studio quality lighting running off a battery. We're in Gosford Hall, which is a, a beautiful um, hotel wedding destination venue. It's a lovely place to work. There's lots and lots of light flooding through the rooms. We do have a couple of challenges that come with the venue. Firstly, there are fabulous mirrors everywhere. That's great because it brings up the level of light. It gives a spark to the room, but it also means I have to be very, very careful with shooting angles, with where we put things, uh, especially where the lights go because we need to get the lights in position where they'll give light but won't be reflecting the mirrors. Thinking about framing the shot, there's a couple of things going on here. First of all, Rebecca, who's designed the jewellery, wants lovely close-ups of the jewellery to show it off to its best effect. But also, I'm going to be making sure that I include lots of the venue, lots of the room, lots of the ambience in here, partly to give a, a better feel to the pictures, so they're not just isolated, but also it gives us a lot more options after the shoot. If I lay out with enough space around it, we can drop text in for a magazine article, we can cut tight to put on the web. If it's everything is close-up shots, we're not gonna get that flexibility. How's that gonna be? Okay, can you see on the, on this one? What's it set on now? Pretty much all digital cameras have great screens on the back now, and that's that's great. It gives you immediate feedback on roughly where the exposure's lying and how the picture's framed. I do like to put everything up as quickly as I can onto a bigger screen so that everybody can come around, have a look, see the direction the shoot's going. This not only lets me check quality, critical focus, it gives other people in the team, the designer, the clients, the stylist, a very quick view of how things are looking. It would be quite annoying if we did 15, 30 minutes shooting, looked at the screen and went, it's not right, let's do it again. It would be a lot worse if a couple of days later we all realise we made some hideous mistake and we have to reshoot and bring everybody back here. You gonna eat it? It's quite a luxury to be shooting location fashion here, partly because I, I'm one part of, of a, a large and very highly skilled team. There's not just me pressing the button, there's not just my assistant setting lights where I ask them to be put and checking power and things like that. We have stylist, we have makeup artist, we have hairdresser, we have the person who designed the jewellery who's going to make sure that it's shown off to its best. We have the person who designed the dresses to make sure everything's perfect with them. There's a whole bunch of people and it's great that any little problem that gets spotted we can jump on straight away. Yes, my collection. Well, it's a, a sort of classic, elegant collection of um, mainly freshwater pearls and Swarovski crystals. Um, focuses on main um, sort of full necklaces, pendants, earrings, bracelets, and um, headbands and hair combs. Um, sort of semi-vintage and semi-classic pieces, all handmade in the UK. I believe 90% 90, 90 of what I do is nothing to do with pressing the button on the camera. There's some lighting involved, there's a little bit of posing involved, there's some framing involved. Most of it is about rapport with the people whose picture you're taking. Even accomplished models like we have today, 
react better to the camera if if they react better to you so I will build rapport with people yeah, I'll yeah, show them what I'm it. taking so we can build trust and they know that everything's looking great they will then give me the reactions and we'll get much much better pictures just from that level of trust We've probably done about 90% of the shoot now, and all of it so far has been indoors. We've been using studio lighting to, to bring up the ambient and get really nice, clear shots. We're going to go outdoors. It's very bright and sunny, and that actually means that I'm going to be using a lot of flash. Many people think that with the sun, you don't need a lot of flash. In fact, with sun, you get very hard shadows. So I'm going to be pumping a huge amount of light into the pictures just to lighten those shadows, bring everything back in so that when the pictures are finished, they're going to look beautiful, they're going to print beautifully on the page, and we don't get very hard shadows and very dark areas on them. Gorgeous.